Hey everyone, Luke back here with another guy. This one's going to be on how you can get all the crystal tiers in the game. Those are the things that you mix in your flask. I'll show you the flask. This thing right here, you can have two of e two of any crystal tier in your flask and they do combine with each other to make some pretty cool combinations. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the drop locations and exactly what all of them do. So I'm going to go ahead and start the guide. If you find this helpful, leave me a like and maybe subscribe for more Elden Ring content to come. First two crystal tiers up are the Cerulean Crystal Tier, which restores half of your FP on use. And then the Ruptured Crystal Tier, which causes you to explode after about three seconds. That does holy damage and it hurts both you and enemies around you, so be careful with that. That effect does stack, so you can make it even stronger. And the holy damage can be buffed by talismans and other spells as well. Um, both of these, Cerulean and Ruptured, have second spawn locations, and I'll show them later on in the video. So if you want the second ones, you can look in the timestamps for that. And to get these two, you'll just head to Western Lernia of the Lakes, and you can head up through here. And then you'll fight the Erdtree Avatar, and he will drop both of these. And your next two are the Crimson Bubble Tier and your second Cerulean Crystal Tier. Your Crimson Bubble Tier restores 25% of your HP once you hit 20% HP. So it's like a sort of like a cheat death mechanic you'll see in other games. So it can, it, it can be useful, but I definitely think there are some better options here. And you'll get these two in... Mountain Tops of Giants, right here at the Erd Tree. The path I took was to come to this grace and just head up and then cross the bridge here. And then the boss is right here. You have to kill the Erd Tree Avatar. Had a lot of health, like 10,000, so be prepared to fight that. The next two I'm going to show you are the Crimson Burst Crystal Tier, which steadily restores HP for 3 minutes, and that's a 1% regen. That regen doesn't stack with regen incantations, but it does stack with the Dewdrop Talisman. And then the other one is the Opaline Bubble Tier, and this gives you a bubble around you that'll take one hit, and that's a 90% damage negation on that hit. So pretty good for PvP. And uh, yeah, that these two both drop from the Weeping Peninsula Minor Erd Tree on the Southern Limb Grave, right here. And I'll go ahead and move on to the next ones. All right, and the next two that I'm gonna show you are the Crimson Spill Crystal Tier, which increases your health by 10% for three minutes. And then the Speckled Hard Tier, which increases all your resistances by 90, and those resistances are Immunity, Robustness, Focus, and Vitality. And to get these two, you'll have to head to the center of Altus Plateau, and under the Minor Erd Tree will be a giant worm-faced monster. You'll kill him, and he will drop both of these. Next up is the Crimson Whirl Bubble Tier, which converts damage received into HP, and that's only elemental damage, not physical, and the buff lasts 15 seconds. You can find this one here on the cliff side, on the Mount Tops of Giants, near the Giants Great Post Grace. The way I got here was I ran all the way around through here, and then you'll go around the mountain on this side, up, and then you'll do some like parkour right here to get across, and then it'll be sitting right here. Be careful, there's a giant hand creature that is pretty strong, but he drops a somber 7 if you want that. And I will move on to the next one. And our next crystal tier is the Dexterity Not Crystal Tier, and like the Faith and Strength ones, it's also just a 10 flat dex buff for three minutes and that can be found right here in Lernia of the Lakes on this little island sitting in a bowl. Our next crystal tier is the Faith Knot Crystal Tier and it's located right here on the Weeping Peninsula as well and that's just east of the Church of Pilgrimage down the mountains. You can also come from this way and just head up the coast and that'll be right here above the ruins and right here, and this will increase your faith by 10. Next two up are the Green Burst Crystal Tier, which is a temporary stamina boost recovery, and that's 30% for 3 minutes. And the other one is the Flame Shrouding Cracked Tier, which like the other elemental shrouding tiers, it is a 20% damage boost on anything fire damage. That includes weapon arts, spells, and the elemental damage on your weapon, and that's also for 3 minutes. And you can find those two here near the Smoldering Church in Kaled. 
at the minor Erd tree. You'll just kill the Erd tree avatar and he'll drop both of these. The next two I'm going to show you are the Green Spill Crystal Tier, which temporarily boosts your stamina. And this is 15%, by the way, for three minutes. And then the other one enhances your charged attacks, and this is the Spiked Cracked Tier. And that's a 15% more charged attack damage. This doesn't work on weapon arts or spells, just regular old charged attacks. But it does stack with the uh, Axe Talisman, if you're wondering, for a 26% increase. So that's pretty cool. And you can get these two right here in the Mistwood on the bottom right of Limgrave. And next up we have our Intelligent Knot Crystal Tier. This one just increases your intelligence by 10 for 3 minutes. And you'll find this one south of the Caria Manor right here. Just head around and then drop down and then go up this way. The next two tiers I'm going to show you are the... Lead and Hard tier, which boosts your poise. And this actually doesn't boost your poise stat, but gives you Dark Souls 3 like hyper armor. Um, so you can tank through weaker hits without falling down or getting interrupted. But it doesn't work on knockback, charged hits, or being launched into the air, etc. Um, the second one I'm going to show you is the Cerulean Hidden tier, which eliminates all FP consumption for 10 seconds. And this is pretty great for first casters, and you'll see that in a second. I'll show you an example. But before that, I'll show you where it is, and that's near the Road of Inequity in Mount Gelmer, at the top of the map. And you just head down this way for, to the east from that grace, and you'll come up to this tree, and there's a monster you'll kill for the two tiers. And an example of how you can use it is 10 seconds of no FP cost for this skill right here. And this is how people cheese bosses. Alright, and I'll head to the next location. And this one is a 3-in-1 special. These are the Lightning Shrouding Cracked tier, the Holy Shrouding Cracked tier, and the Magic Shrouding Cracked tier. They all drop from a Erd Tree avatar here in northern of Lernia Lakes right here and the effect of these ones are all 20 percent extra damage of the respective element for three minutes and this affects weapon arts sorceries incantations and the magic or elemental damage on the weapon and the next two up are the stone barbed cracked tier and the opaline hard tier the stone barbed cracked tier makes your attacks more likely to break your enemy's stance and there are reports that it's about one-third of the original amount of attack. So norm if you normally hit nine times to break a stance, it would be possibly three, but that is not concrete. And that buff lasts 30 seconds. And for the Opaline Hard tier, that is just a 15% across the board elemental damage resistance for three minutes. And then you get both of these here in the north um, of Northern Kaled, right at the Minor Erd Tree. Just kill the Avatar, and that's where those are. And the next one I'm going to show you is the Strength Knot Crystal Tier. And like the Faith one, it also increases your strength by 10. And this one can be found pretty early in the game near the Stormhill Shack. Just head up here. And it'll be sitting right in a bowl behind a giant. And next up we have our Thorny Cracked Tier and our second Ruptured Crystal Tier. The Thorny Cracked Tier makes your consecutive attacks 35% stronger for 3 minutes. And it is believed that it is stacking with other effects that also do the increased consecutive attack strength. So they should be able to stack. And the second ruptured tier does also stack with the other ruptured tier for extra damage. But this will also be extra damage to you. And if you want to get these two, you'll head up to the eastern secret half of Mountaintops of Giants at the Erd Tree here. And you'll kill an Erd Tree avatar. And that's where you'll find those. And next up we have the Twiggy Cracked tier, which briefly stops rune loss on death. Don't need to say much about that. And your second Crimson 50% heal that you pick up when you first get your Physic, you get the first one. Here is where the second one is. It's with the Twiggy Cracked tier. And you loot them here in the northern capital area at the top of the map. And next up we have the Winged Crystal tier. This one reduces your equip load temporarily for 3 minutes like all the other effects. And 
this stacks multiplicatively with other poi or equip load things. So yeah, um, basically you can pop this and be overloaded and you'll be light rolling for three minutes. Kind of cheesy, but could be cool for like PvP invasions or, or whatever you want to do with that. And to get this, you'll have to come to the capital and head north. And this is way up here on the map. And near the Erd tree, there will be a little bowl right here. You can pick it up. And if you come at night, there's going to be a death bird boss, just so you know. And the next tier is the Windy Crystal tier. And this one just increases your dodge roll effectiveness. And it's sort of like the Karthus Blood Ring. The location is in southern Kalid, and it is protected by two large birds that are hanging out above the cliffs. So be careful there. And the final one is the Purifying Crystal tier, but that's just used in a quest line and doesn't really have any application anywhere else in the game. So I'm going to leave it out for the sake of time. And if you guys found this video helpful, leave me a like. And if you want to see more guide content and PvP content, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.